Hi, I'm Johan de Preer, I'm the CEO of Royal Winery, and next to me is Andre, which you've just met, he's the cellar master. And together we're quite excited about this project, and we're going to explain a little bit more about the animals that is depicted on the labels, and why they're there. And then I'm going to ask Andre to introduce two of the wines, just telling you a little bit about the style and uh, more about the woodcomb components of those things. Basically, I think in the previous video you would have seen Washi explaining some of the name reserve. Basically, each bottle has an animal depicted which is actually a resident in the game reserve, which is here. It's not all game reserves, but specifically ours. And although they're very important animals, they just, these are wines with a cause. So we donate a certain amount per bottle sold, locally and internationally, to the Wilderness Foundation, Africa, and they then spend it all over. These wines are sold locally, they're also sold abroad in quite a few countries. Here we've got the Fish Eagle, and I'm going to tell, I'm going to ask Andre just to tell us a little bit more about the wine. It's a Sauvignon Blanc 2016. The Sauvignon Blanc wine was uh, made from grapes that were selected from different vineyards. The vineyards uh, were from uh, not just the Robertson region, but also uh, the coastal cooler climate region. It's a wine that was picked at optimum ripeness at about 21 to 24 volume. After that, it went through a cold maceration for about 12 to 18 hours, and after that, uh, cool fermentation at about 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. The wine was also left on the lease for about uh, 90 days, after which it got bottled. The wine's got a lot of, um, at this stage, a lot of gooseberry, uh, asparagus flavors in it, and also a cut grass flavor on, on the, on the mouthfeel when you taste the wine. It's also a very fresh wine, still complex and easy drinking and it goes well with uh, fried chicken and fresh fish uh, to enjoy every day. Now that's why he's the winemaker I'm not, he has the knowledge, I don't have the knowledge. The next is uh, the River Rhine Rabbit. Now this is unique because you don't find a lot of these animals around. And you can read a bit more about what's the difference between a rabbit and a hare, I'm not going to bore you with that now. But this is a Chenin Blanc, you can see that, and we've had actual proof that they do occur in our area now. And there's some video footage for the first time that we actually caught them on camcorder. Andre won't talk about that one. The next is a, is the white, is a Chardonnay, and it's got the, I think we've got two Southern Blancs here, the other one is a Chardonnay. We don't have a sample here, but you can see all of these are screw cap, and that all the reds are still cork. So that's... You look at South African terms now, internationally, uh, Stelfin or screw caps as they're called, that's now about 80% of all the wines. You still get countries where they demand pork, like in China and a lot of the African countries, where there's still some romance in uncorking a wine and pouring it. I think, Andre, you want to talk a little bit about the, the Cabernet? Yeah. Can I just say a little bit about the, the actual leopard on here? Um, we've done, had a study done where an American student came and we actually found 20 to 25 of these individuals in this region. But that's another story which we'll tell you at a later stage. The Cabernet Sauvignon wine goes to also uh, pick that optimum ripeness at about 24 to 25 volume. This goes to our source from uh, Vineyards, here from local, the Greenberg farm, uh, in, at the Salamos farm, Fergrove, and also from Darling, uh, the Darling area. <coughs> so this wine is a wine that was Picked at optimum ripeness, it was fermented on the skins for about uh, 7 to 14 days. After that, it went through malolactic fermentation and went into first, second, and third full barrels, where it aged for about 12 months. The, my vision about uh, the game with the wines is to build on the quality that already exists in the bottle and also to take the. Uh, con the <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the actual environment, the environment uh, into consideration. Uh, what I try to make is uh, style driven wines and wines that's uh, fruity and juicy and that's not overwhelming with wood. So it must be wines that must be uh, or can be drink every day uh, by normal people and also be enjoyed with good food. Thank you, Andrew. That was quite mouthful. Then. This, the next uh, is, a, is a Shiraz, 
and the annual depicted on it is a gillant, so they've got a fair, fair amount of gillant on that actually in the game reserve, but a very common antelope throughout South Africa and Africa. And Morsi had a very interesting story about this, and I'm going to share it. How true it is, nobody knows. But apparently the male dominant bull will, when it walks, have a click in one of its joints. And it's said that because the other then follow the male or the leader, and what Morsi also says is true, which I don't, can't doubt for, is that once a bull leaves the, the herd, uh, the next bull coming in will pick up the click, and the one that's left will lose it. So how true that is, but that's got nothing to do with the wine, so just enjoy the wine. Then we have a, a Merlot, and uh, it's got an otter on, it's a Cape otter, it's well known, and um, Merlot quite popular now as a drinking variety all over the world. The last one, it's got a bat-eared fox, a bat-eared fox, um, not common, a long time they've been seen that they actually uh, killed sheep and were killed at a big, uh, big uh, scale, but they actually are eating um, insects, so they're actually not to be blamed for all the, the killing of sheep all over. So that's the range, right? with the course, please support it. I think we, we owe it to the environment, we owe it to sustainability, and it's really something that you must support. And if you get to an establishment or a shop that doesn't stop it, please ask them to, to, to inquire and visit the website. And it's also can be bought online from wine.coza. Thank you very much.